the things that we have in common bring us together. You know, adversity uh, really brings us together. You know, the, I, I think these shared moments of adversity, these shared traumas where we can talk to each other about it and calm each other over, you know, memories and, uh, and feelings. And this is, this is also a Cushman who greeted me when I pulled up to the Colorado cabin. He greeted me by putting his bare ass on the, on the window and spreading his butt cheeks open to greet me properly into the cabin. And then when I came in through the door and I'm sitting down on the ground, he comes to hug me with his pants still at his ankles and his dingle dangle right at my face. I'm like, God damn it, Cushman! And even with all that, it was not gay. <laughs> totally not gay. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing me and the fourth ID guys talked about recently was how comfortable we feel with each other and we can... We just feel so incredibly at ease. It's, it's something else. Uh, this is a great thing about being a soldier, about being us. You know, we just, we just make things happen. We're an interesting little, little group of grunts. Neanderthals. I'm definitely Neanderthal. I embrace the Neanderthalness of my thinking sometimes. The only one I had a really close relationship with was Butcher, and he was killed in 07. My best friend, Staff Sergeant Steve, Butcher. Of all the cool infantry names to have, Sergeant Butcher is definitely like the best name you can have. It's fine. What, why? What's wrong? It, it's Steve. I was like, what? What's going on? Well, the chaplain just needs to talk to this person. I was like, I, I was like well, is he all right? I was like, no, he's dead. And yeah, man, I cried so hard, so loud. I, I wanted to get back into the fire. I wanted to get back to kicking doors. I wanted to get back to going after the guys that killed my best friend. And he was a very calm, quiet guy, uh, short as well. I can, I can say that now because he's not around to kick my ass. <laughs> he kicked my ass. Yeah, he definitely had a complex <laughs> about it. <laughs> it's like, I wonder what Butcher's doing in that call. Hey, what's up, dude? And he would answer, and we'd sit there and talk. That's, that's kind of a mark of a true friendship, you know, because he could have said, I t I'm busy, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Could have been watching TV. I'm busy. That's what guys do. It's the guy thing. And so, but no, we sit there and we talk and see how each other's lives, and that's, that's, that's the only person I ever did that with. Man, we we're always naked around each other, man. <laughs> always. For fun, too. I mean, if you boil it down, it's, really about being helpless or not you know we're not we're not trained to be helpless we're we're trained to be useful at all times if we were we were helpful in a way that that people speak about in history books you know this the 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 type of things we did are the things that make history books and then kind of go back to obscurity maybe that's why i i reach so far because and I do find that interesting as well, because, yeah, no, I can't do that with any other friends in any other circumstances. No. God, no.